Hey, what is going on? My name is LaPrentis Sampson, and I help health conscious consumers replace toxic products in their life so they can achieve true wellness. And in today's video, we are going to see is Nestle Pure Life Water bad for you? All right, and so we're going to take this and we're going to put it through three distinct tests and we're going to compare it to this electrolyzed reduced water. So we're going to see how it compares and see if it actually is good or bad for you. To see more videos like this, if you're interested in caring about your health, make sure you click the subscribe button so you can see more of these videos in the future. And next, if you are truly serious about improving your health, which I believe you are, you want to learn about the five properties every good healthy water should have. And so I have a resource down below that you want to click to discover more about that. All right. So without further ado, let's get started. So to determine if Nestle Pure Life water is actually bad for you, we're going to want to test it for three specific things. The first one is antioxidants, all right? So this should be an antioxidizing water. It should be pushing out the oxidants, um, neutralizing them so we can have better health. The second one, it should be alkaline, right? It should provide us the chance to keep our body in an alkaline environment. And third, it should actually hydrate us. And so we're gonna look at it for superior hydration. All right, with that being said, let's check out the first one, and that is antioxidants, right? So. Imagine if you have a banana and you let it sit out kind of like this one, it's going to start to brown, right? And that's just because of everything that's going on with the air is oxidizing. We got so many different things. We got the air, we got cell phones, we got uh, pollution in the air and some of the foods that we eat that are very oxidizing. And while they affect that banana a little bit, they affect us quite a bit, right? So oxidation is positively charged, creates aging and inflammation in the body and it essentially leads to sickness. It's gonna lower our immune system. So we want our water to be an antioxidant. We want it to be negatively charged, reducing that inflammation, reducing that oxidation, and essentially be the fountain of youth, all right? So let's go ahead and test that with this water. And we just need to keep in mind that oxidation and inflammation is linked to every health concern known to man. Everything that we deal with as humans is because of oxidation and inflammation. So that's why we want our water to be very healthy for us. So once again, for our ORP, we're going to test using this ORP meter and it's going to give us a positive number or a negative number. If it's positive, that means it's aging us. If it is negative, that means it is Good for us. That means it's great for our health and well-being. So let's take a look at Nestle Pure Life. Let's see. All right. So as you can see, it is definitely a positive number. That means it is creating sickness, aging, and inflammation in the body. And let's go ahead and take a look at this electrolyzed reduced water. Oh wow, look at that. So it is a negative number. It looks like it is a negative 796. Looks like 800, almost 800. Yep, a negative 800. So this is oxidizing and this other water here is not oxidizing. In fact, it's an antioxidant, right? So that's pretty cool. And so the first test, this Nestle Pure Life water is not looking so good. Alrighty, on to that next test, which is alkalinity. Our body has to be as much as possible in an alkaline environment, right? And so your body's always gonna find a way to do this, especially for your blood. Your blood, as far as pH, must maintain 7.365. And it's gonna do that, okay? So if we're taking in acidic foods, if we're taking in acidic beverages, your body is gonna have to put in the work to make sure our blood stays at that proper pH. So it's gonna take it from our skin. It's gonna take it from our bones, joints, and our ligaments. Right, so this is how we end up breaking the hip, or this is why we feel, I don't know, crunchy, right? When we're, when we're stretching and getting ready for a workout of some kind, or even just getting up. And even then, if you still are getting a slightly acidic body that's happening, you're gonna start to get Alzheimer's, and it's gonna start taking those electrolytes from your brain. So, our water should be alkaline, all right? 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these pH drops right here and we're gonna see what color they turn, all right? So if they turn a red, an orange, or a yellow, that means they are acidic and they're eating electrolytes our body needs so we're not feeling crunchy and broken, all right? However, if it shows up a blue, a purple, or a dark purple, that means it's good for our body. We should be taking that in. It's actually gonna help us stay in the alkaline state. All right, so I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> oh, so this went from orange and then it went to green. And this one went to purple and it stayed purple, right? So uh, just to let you know, there's nothing in this water. Nothing is added to this water. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much why it's blue. Uh, one of the bigger reasons why it's purple. This has stuff added to it, right? So. This has calcium chloride, right, which is pretty much the salt that they use to de-ice ribs. This has sodium bicarbonate, which is ultimately baking soda. And this also has Epsom salt, which is magnesium sulfate, which is essentially Epsom salt. And so, I don't know if you saw it, but it went from orange to green. And so those items that I just mentioned that's in this water helped it get there. So I want to show you something really quick. And that is that this water has changed chemically, all right? Both of these waters are changed, uh, but this one has changed chemically. And so I'm gonna introduce some chemicals, carbon dioxide, <laughs> to see if we can actually change the states of these waters based on that, change the pH based on me changing things chemically. All right, so let's go right here. All right. So as you see, I just made that yellow. And once again, that's because this water has changed chemically, right? Let's go ahead and try this water over here. All right, and so as you can see, I, didn't, I tried to change the water and I couldn't change the state of it as easily as this one. And that's because this doesn't have anything added to it. Okay, so this is naturally its true pH. This one was lying to us, it was faking it. So just wanted to show you that really quick when it comes to if Nestle Pure Life water is bad for us, this is a good indication. All right, that final test that I'm talking about when it comes to if Nestle Pure Life is bad for you is about superior hydration. The water that we're drinking, it should hydrate us at a cellular level. It shouldn't just sit in our stomach, right? And then just bleh, just having us feel goofy and bloated. So I just want you to picture for me a chain link fence, all right? Now if we take a beach ball and throw it at that chain link fence, is it gonna go through the fence? Probably not. However, we took that same chain link fence and we took a marble and we threw it through that fence Pretty sure it's gonna go through, it's gonna knock out someone's car window, and you're gonna be in trouble because I gave you that idea. Your water should be just like that marble. It should be able to penetrate through that chain link fence, <laughs> which is our cells. Our cells are all linked together, and actually hydrate you, push out those toxins, and give you the nutrients that you need. Best way to do that, besides getting a chain link fence, <laughs> is a tea bag, right? So the tea bag, is that chain link fence. And the stuff that's inside is dehydrated, of course, dehydrated leaves and, and essentials. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can make tea. Now I know what you're thinking. You're like, LaPrentice, there's no way you can make tea. You have to boil tea, duh. Well, why do we have to boil it? We have to boil it because in order to do that, we end up making the water molecules so small, we create steam. That steam is able to help make the water small and the steam is small itself. It's actually able to pass through the tea bag and make us tea. However, if your water is not bad for you, it's actually healthy for you, then it should be able to automatically hydrate you. Kind of like this water does right here. So, you're probably thinking, you know what, LaPrentice, the bag was already wet. That was just a trick. Go ahead and try it again. Well, think about it. We're already partially hydrated, right? So the same thing kind of applies, right? You should be able to get hydrated after having just a little bit of water. 
All right. As you can see, still has a little bit in there, but I think it was from the residual over here. But let's just think about this. Let's just say you weren't feeling good, right? And you just need a little bit of something to get you off your feet, right? Just a little. And if you were drinking the right water, water that's actually healthy for you, that's gonna hydrate you at a cellular level, you will be able to immediately start getting the benefits of that. So, ultimately, this water's not able to hydrate you. You'll probably get maybe 15% hydration as opposed to this electrolyzed reduced water where you're able to get 90 to 95% hydration. Something you wanna keep in mind. So there you have it, those are the three tests. Is Nestle Pure Life water bad for you? It's not the best for you. I mean, there's far worse. We have tap water here, but ultimately, this is not the best if you're trying to achieve that true health, that true wellness. If you're looking to push toxins out of your body, if you're looking to keep your body in an alkaline state, if you want to be truly hydrated, and you deserve the best, you deserve the best, and this is not it. So, if you want to know what the best is, and if you're curious and want to learn more, you definitely want to check out that resource we talked about earlier, about the five properties every healthy water should have that you should be consuming. Check that out. Thank you for watching this video. Have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And remember, our body is 75% water. So if you change your water, you change your world. Thank you for watching this, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.